This is Robert Forsch with uh, YouTube channel Truth, and I wanted to uh, thank you for your public and private support, encouragement. I've got a lot of uh, compelling content on my channel, uh, YouTube Truth. Truth is the name of the channel, and uh, there's a lot of documentaries, some that I've uh, captured and shared myself, others that uh, very talented uh, movie producers have uh, created content. So many to mention that I'm just going to say, please explore my channel. You can see some future chan uh, featured channels uh, that have millions of views. Um, and then there's billions of views on my channel as far as the content producers that are have liked videos on my playlist. Um, I'm wanting to show people the world from a different perspective. This is, uh, this is reality. And that's what I want to do. I want to help uh, expose the reality of the world we actually live in. A lot of people are basing their eternal perspective on a false reality. That's why I believe the truth is the most important. And what is the truth? Who determines that? I believe the God who created this world, the Alpha and Omega, the Great I Am, the Living Water, the Living Word, uh, Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, goes by many names. And uh, I call him Father. He's my Heavenly Father. I was conceived in his mind as all of his children were before the foundation of the world so grateful for that. So now I've got a passion, purpose, and an eternal perspective with the power to carry it out. You see, I thought I was born again over 30 years ago, till I actually was roughly four years ago on Reformation Day. Or Halloween as the human sacrificing, blood drinking Satanists celebrate uh, that way, as well as uh, candy distribution to kind of sweeten it up a little bit for the kids in that special. Just keep in mind we live in a, a world that has a lot of evil that's taking place and one of the challenging realities I believe God is sovereign. He knew the evil that was going to occur from the entities which he created yet he works it all together for the good and his overall glory. So what I encourage everybody to do is, of course, to hear, share, and obey God's Word. Bible.is is an effective app that you can download the Bible in uh, over 1,500 languages. And uh, Bible.com has some tremendous resources as well. On my uh, YouTube channel, Truth, the playlist that's entitled YouTube Truth, if you hashtag YouTube Truth, I believe you'll find it. Um, and then uh, that would be the audio Bible merged with the beauty and majesty of creation. A very powerful resource. What would it profit a man if he gained the whole world and lose his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Christ paid a price none of us could pay. Um, the reason why I say I thought I was born again until I actually was, such a significant change occurred in my life that I was compelled to share it with the world. And God created uh, a vehicle to do that. Yeah, the Truthmobile, the 94 Lexus, uh, and, and more. The infrastructure of the world to house the habitats that contain the technology uh, that need to be protected from the from the weather. Uh, smartphones, computers, all of that, and then the interconnectivity of the internet. A powerful reality to consider to be sure. We all have the um, the ability to uh, do uh, different different things in our life. Uh, what I choose to do is to make an effective use of my time. Um, 
and one of the things that I've done is eliminated as much waste as possible. I try to do as efficiently as I can, whatever I need to in life, and that's really important. It would be a best practices type of emphasis, you know, how can I do whatever I need to better? So that's, that's what I endeavor to do. In the context of all of that, leveraging worldwide uh, social media and the interconnectivity of the internet through all the different platforms, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and, and all of that. Some, some say, oh, you, you found truth on, on YouTube. That's, that's how you found out about the true shape of the earth. That's actually where I was notified to look into it. And then when I looked into reality, this is reality. Kind of a takeoff of uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's uh, mic drop. You know, we've got differences in density and mass that cause heavier things to fall and lighter things to float. So it's buoyancy, B-U-O-Y-A-N-C-Y, buoyancy. You can hashtag it. One of the reasons why I hashtag my titles of, of the videos that I produce is it's my work around some of the challenges in social media. And, and that would be if I directly uh, copy and paste a link, it may get blocked or, or not posted. Interestingly enough, the artificial intelligence may try to give me the satisfaction of seeing that my link is there on the comment of a video when reality it's there for my eyes only <laughs> potentially AI knows it's there what is AI artificial intelligence well it's powerful computer learning systems that are basically promoting a false reality it's not real um, the trips to the moon and Mars and and planets beyond and all the different cosmology that's being um, promoted and perpetuated by NASA is basically a false reality. And then we've got Hollywood that undergirds that with a lot of distraction and entertainment. And then we've got uh, comedians to help us yuck it all up. In fact, they were making fun of yours truly. Uh, who are they? Well, PewDiePie is one of them. Uh, the most subscribed YouTube channel in the world. When he first made fun of me for about a third of his first video on Flat Earth and others, uh, other very talented, uh, informed individuals, I might add, uh, when he first did that, he had 61 million subscribers. Now he's got 75 million subscribers. Just take a look at the counts of uh, how many people have what the subscriber count is for the different channels. I think you might find that kind of interesting. He is the most subscribed YouTube channel in the world. If you explore my content, uh, I believe you'll find that I gave him plenty of content to make fun of. He had a meme review. I had plenty of memes I sent him. I sent him my Facebook and YouTube presence, my channel and my page. Now he didn't even mention me in his meme review even though he uh, mentioned me in his first video and some of the content that I had uh, for the memes, <laughs> uh, he actually used less powerful content from other people. That being said, I'm not, my feelings aren't hurt, I, I appreciate all the views. Uh, now that I wear a, a shirt that says YouTube Truth, I actually get a lot of people coming by there and uh, views and subscribes and likes and that from people that have seen the Truth Mobile, uh, the car I drive around, uh, as well as seeing me in public on the beach, wondering what I've got going on. So in the context of this, looking at the beach renourishment is a pretty powerful reality to show. I mean, we've got water seeking its level all over the face of the earth. Let's take a look at that zoomed in a bit. 
high-powered uh, diesel engines uh, pumping the water and sand up on the beach. And of course the water just goes back out to the ocean, no problem. Uh, the ship and pump system transfers approximately 1,500 dump truck load equivalents in under an hour. They go about three miles out, vacuum up some sand, seashells, and stuff off the bottom of the ocean, rinse it out, and then bring it back up here, pump it out on the beach, and move it around with uh, diesel electric caterpillars. That's what this is, a D7E cat. And then we've got the articulated loader, the 966M, which uh, moves the pipe around and, and all the other stuff. The, uh, the diesel generators and the auxiliary lighting. They do this around the clock. It's a 24-7 operation as, is, as I am as well. I'm a 24-7 operation too. What I'll end up doing is napping when I need to. I'm awake normally about 20 hours a day. No problemo, I nap when I need to. Might be updating my status in a rec nice leather recliner watching the audio Bible or, or viewing some of my content to see if I need to do something different. How can I do it better? I might doze off for a while. Uh, covered by a bunch of sphinx kitties, naked kitties. Yeah, they don't have much hair. They're funny. And uh, so my life is really interesting. I enjoy w what I do. I, I get to do what I want because God created me to do what you're seeing me do, or some of it, some of what you see me do. What is so interesting to me is that uh, even though there's, uh, how would I say, even though um, I have activity that I do, what, what ends up happening though is there's activity that um, uh, he ends up doing through me that I have no, uh, no real control over. So for example, here's, here's what I'm talking about. I was trying to set up the shot and I, I think I, I might have what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay. So what I, what I was gonna say with that is that, so PewDiePie makes a video making fun of me and other flat earthers. And it gets viewed like over eight million times. And then uh, Triggered Tro uh, goes ahead and makes a video. Flat earthers, flat earthing. Flat earthers are the coolest cats, he, he's talking about us. Anyway, because of the, the different activity that I've been involved in, I've got over 20 million views of people seeing me. Not that that's the big deal. The big deal is that they seek the truth with all their heart, that you do that. I have trust that you'll find it on my profile. You see, I believe God's word is true, and all other words are suspect and should be compared to Scripture. How will you know how it matches up if you don't know what God's word says? That's the big deal. So it takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. 19 hours. For gosh sakes, I'm awake more than that. And then uh, what I do is I listen to God's word when I'm sleeping. He quite often will transport me in time and location in my dream to be able to see what he wants to show me. So I've actually been at the, uh, at the scene of the crucifixion as it was taking place in my dream. Pretty fascinating. Has that ever happened to you? You know, that's, uh, that's actually a really big deal. I would say. What was interesting about that too is I had an awareness that the crucifixion needed to take place and that Christ paid the price that none of us could to provide uh, forgiveness that we needed. I was... Uh, I was a spirit. I was a. I was a walking, spiritually dead man. 
spiritually dead, dead man walking, spiritually speaking. Much of humanity is. They're, they're dead and they don't know it. Much like I was. Thought I was born again until I actually was. That should give people pause. They should consider what, what's up with that. Well, you see, I was baptized multiple times. I invited Jesus into my heart many times. Uh, rededicated my life many times. Why? Why would I do that? Well, I did that because I was struggling so much with sin that I was told I should be set free from, according to Scripture. All things are new in Christ. I wasn't living that. I, I didn't realize that for myself personally. I saw it happening with others, and I thought, where's mine? <laughs> why, why is that not happening for me? Well, and I found out why. I didn't have the power of the Spirit because I didn't have the presence of the Spirit in my life. There's a, I want to illustrate a, a very important distinction between being a child of God and being born again. Um, all of God's children will absolutely be born again at some point in the human experience. Uh, the Apostle Paul, on, his, on the road to Damascus, did he slip his hand up and invite Jesus into his heart? No, he was knocked off, off of his horse. He was blinded by a light brighter than the sun. And then uh, he encountered the living Christ that gave him new life and let him know that he was, he was wrong in persecuting and having Christians martyred. So he was a changed man, obviously. So his life, he was a child of God from uh, eternity past, or whenever God spoke his, him into existence, like he did me, and then I was matched up with a body at, at some point in my human experience, or my eternal uh, experience. I was born in 1961, conceived in the mind of God well before that. I'm grateful for that. Um, Satan's children aren't going to want to be born again. Um, I don't know who's who exactly, because there, there are people that are practicing Satanists. Uh, they may be doing some very wicked things to innocent people. Uh, young children, babies, they may be an abortionist, they may be a, a Satanist, um, a Scientologist. There's a lot of ists. <laughs> there's a lot of religions. There's, there's a spiritual uh, smorgasbord, a cornucopia of efforts to reach uh, spiritual awareness or um, being awake. And so there's a lot of people that have a... a different perspective on this. I'm unapologetically biblical. I believe, like I say, God's Word is true and all others are suspect. So I enjoy listening to God's Word and or meditating on it day and night, around the clock. With the mobile technology that we have, uh, it's amazing. I've got a, a mobile computer right here, uh, an iPhone 10. I go live on Facebook and YouTube with it. And it's amazing to have the technology to do that. Uh, when I click like on a video I'm watching, it goes to my like video playlist, which has millions of occurrences out in the cloud, out in the World Wide Web. I'm not exaggerating because I've got thousands of occurrences of thousands of pictures with thousands of uh, links of my YouTube channel and Facebook cross-pollinating one another. On my YouTube channel, you can see the Facebook link and click on it. You may not want to get updates on what people had for breakfast. Maybe that's your reason for not having Facebook. Tell you what, if you want to see some compelling photographs that have corresponding documentaries uh, linked together, uh, you may want to get a Facebook account and just so you can see different people's Facebook accounts. You don't even have to tell them. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. See, uh, I'm just so grateful to love the truth. I thought I did until I actually did. What, what ended up happening was 
Um, I was rescued from a life of addiction, including pharmaceutical uh, uh, drug addiction. And I was convinced that God created uh, chemicals to help my body operate better. Well, that was a, a pursuit in uh, futility. Um, whether it was pharmaceutical uh, prescriptions that were taken as directed and sometimes not, and then adding drugs, my own uh, prescribed type of drugs, whether it's alcohol or, or uh, marijuana or DMT or mushrooms, whatever. I tried a lot of different things. And what I would simply say is I found true satisfaction in being born again, obediently walking with Christ, and relying on Him to do what He created me to do. So I don't have to... Uh, do some activity and hope he likes it. <laughs> I, I do my best to obey him. So I get to see what, it, what he wants me to do because he, he puts that desire to do that in my heart. That's the powerful reality of all this. Is that <clears throat> we have a creator that created this world and all the entities that inhabit it have or will. He's the creator of everything. He's in control of everything. Like I said, that's a bit of a problem for people to look at because we do have evil in this world. Now Satan is an opportunist. He'll, he'll use who and what he can. God who created him and his children and everything else, God uses it all, including his enemies' children. Satan's children, the fallen angels and demons. So I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. There's nothing that's going to happen in this world that he doesn't, that God doesn't cause or allow. So I'm good to go. Not afraid. So on my channel, I've got powerful documentaries as well as beautiful music and and uh, live feeds uh, that show the the beauty of creation, relaxing music. I've created content um, where I show the beauty and majesty of creation and merge it with an audio Bible. Now the wonderful thing of it is if you if you have an interest in uh, oh okay so like what I can do in a moment and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in a moment. I'm gonna do it in this moment right now. I'm gonna go to my uh, my Facebook or actually the audio Bible I have. Chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet, to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only. of his grace we've all received one blessing after another for the law was given through Moses grace and truth came through Jesus Christ no one has ever seen God but God the one and only who was at the Father's side has made him known now this was Jesus so the 
the real benefit that being able to listen to God's word like that is that I take this mobile and um, I know some people don't like the cord that you have to have uh, to, to listen with headphones, but I have uh, the AirPods, uh, Apple AirPods. I can listen to the Bible that way. I can just uh, lay next to it when I'm taking a nap and uh, hear it on the speaker that was on this. Uh, the other thing too is that I've got a Bluetooth speaker that I can uh, activate and play it through that and have enough volume to hear it very comfortably as I'm sleeping or almost sleeping. I, I remember where it used to be that I thought, gosh, I can't get to sleep. I don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> It's like sometimes I'll wake up and uh, find myself sitting in the chair. Oh, I took a nap for a little bit. Or I, I, was out on, I would be out on the beach and uh, doing some photography or videography and, uh, or broadcasting the Bible live. I've done that hundreds of hours of that. And I would wake up and I had taken a little nap. What I was going to say too is that there's the a device called a Google Chromecast. There may be other tools and ways of doing this. I'm able to broadcast my YouTube channel or my desktop from my computer on the uh, television. That works out really good. You can go to Walmart. I'm not anti-Walmart. Um, I'm, I'm encouraging people to hear, share, and obey God's Word. I use the technology uh, Steve Jobs, where is he now? I don't know. He may be uploaded himself to the internet. Uh, Elon Musk talks about a neural lace, and we've got transhumanism, and, and apparently they're able to do that. I don't know for sure. What I would simply say is I'll use whatever means I can. I've got multiple Bible translations on here, so even though they maybe don't have uh, Bibles in a lot of the rooms, Potentially, they've got them everywhere there's a person with a cell phone. Um, yeah, and that's how that works. That's why I'm, I'm grateful for that, to be alive at such a time as this. <clears throat> so we can truly share God's Word to the ends of the earth around the clock by encouraging people to uh, go to Bible.com, Bible.is, um, Oh, YouTube, I've got the audio Bible, like I said. And then there's the Gospel of John video, my absolute favorite uh, Bible movie. And if that's all somebody saw, that would that could be enough. Um, however, the account in Genesis is powerful, is a powerful reality 